Hello, my name is Hector. Welcome to the Hyper Antics server. Yes, we are playing Hyper Antics with a brand new mod pack made especially for the Hypermind server. How is everyone doing? I hope you're doing well. It's been a little while. It's been a little while. I was meant to start this series a while back, but uh, stuff got in the way, and I actually recorded an episode, and then my sound didn't work. And I, I just built this little igloo for myself uh, in here. You can see nothing very special. We've got some snow bricks from Quark. Uh, looks pretty kind of cool. Uh, I don't have a lot of stuff at all. As you can see, this is all of my worldly possessions and what I have in my inventory as well. Let's whack that in. Let's whack that in. Uh, I need torches. Tor torches are so very important in this mod pack. Um, let us actually... I don't need two doors on me. Uh, let's... Oh, no. <sighs> no. Come on. Come on, Hector. It's been a while. It's been a while. So... Let's let's just quickly let's just quickly plant this. You can see there's quite a lot of pigs around me. Let's just whack you there and put you there. And then uh, is that going down? Of course that is going down. That is going down. Twinkles is on right now. Um, but this um, mod pack was put together mainly by Darkfan uh, uh, with the help of Captain Q, Run Wild, and the Queen of Hypermind, Lapis Lori. So um, and you guys can play it. It is on. Available on the Curse Launcher, so go check it out. All the links will be in the description. And we've got some guests as well. We've got quite a few guests uh, for this series of modders, so go check them out again. Links will be in the description. Now, I just... I'm, I'm a bit scared. I'm a bit scared of the night, because the darkness... The darkness can basically... Well, it can kill you. If you are out uh, at night in the dark, it, it will... It will... It will hurt you. It will hurt you. So... Um, we can't have that. We can't have that. Twinkles is on. I don't know what she's up to. I don't know if she's AFK. Uh, oh, that was a bit of a bit of a lag spike there. Um, it was. We're still kind of the mod pack is still very much being ironed out. But what I thought we'd do today, we're not gonna do much. I'm. I'm kind of. You might be able to hear it ever so slightly. I'm a little bit ill. I've been ill for the last few days, which is why there's been no videos. Um, so I thought we, we'll take it. No. No. No stay out um i thought we'd take it easy today oh and we can we can sleep we can sleep so let's go check out spawn um there we go and i end up outside <laughs> which is fine now spawn is that way i did have it i did have a um a marker for it but that seems to have gone the server has just been updated but let's go check it out let's go oh actually you know what i need to do you know what i should very much do is put a uh, a waypoint here okay yeah i don't want any of that just yeah mm -hmm. waypoint new yeah, let's put one here uh igloo like that and uh, yeah it doesn't need to be doesn't need to be on i just need to know vaguely where it is there we go okay cool and let's get cracking so i'm very excited for this new series of modded um what's that over there is that just that's a berry bush, I think. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, ooh, ooh, there's some there's some stuff here already. Um, this server has been up like a week or two now? No, I think it must be only a week and a half, say. A week and a half. Can't be more than that. And the amount of stuff that has, has been on here already is crazy. Look at it. Look at I don't know what this is. But it looks cool. I do love... I'm guessing that is immersive engineering. Yeah. Um, that looks cool. I like it. I don't know what it is, but I like it. I like it a lot, I like it a lot, and yeah, oh, this we're using the realistic terrain generation mod, and I do find, I do find it is a little bit, it's not, it's not very kind on the frame, so you might see a little bit of frame issue, and I don't, I've tried lots to try and make this, you know, smoother and better, but I just, I don't know, I just don't seem to be, oh, look, look, it's get, it's going crazy, right? Let's try, let us try. Let's rent, put the render distance down to 9 and maybe that to fast. I have not had to do that in ages. Uh, so let's try. Let's see if that makes any difference. Let's load everything up again. And just just see. I mean, I'm still... I'm, I'm getting like... Oh, okay. Okay, now it's kind of gone up again. So we'll see. We, oh, and I keep getting spikes. I keep getting spikes. You might... Ow. Oh, oh, bees. Okay, that's fine. I don't mind that. I can handle that. So you might have to deal with a little bit of 
Oh, wow. So many lag spikes. Okay, let me let me go elsewhere. Okay, so I've been wandering around the kind of little spawn town. And I think that over there is, um, is Lothrazar's uh, house. He's the maker of Cyclic, the Cyclic mod, which we are definitely going to be looking at. And look at these houses. They're so nice. They're so nice. And what I kind of saw is those white blocks there. I kind of want to know what they are. Um, and I don't know if I can get in here anywhere. Um, can I? Can I somewhere? Is there a... Is there a, a gate? A, oh, there must be a gate. Oh, maybe... Ah, so this can't... This isn't... This can't be Lothrazars. That is his place. I don't know whose this is. This wasn't here last time I came on. Uh, what? How do you get in here? Ah, aha. There's a sign. There is a sign. Nemson's Lodge. Wow. Nemson. It's lovely. Lovely. Uh, I'm going to have to figure out what those blocks are. Maybe I'll do it later because... But yeah, these are lovely buildings. I really like it. I really like it. Now, town is definitely giving me some issues uh, on the old frame rate. It's not It's not pleasant. So I'm going to have to keep out of that for now. I don't know what this is. Coming soon to an old village near you. Bleak Sunrise Retirement Acres. Okay. I think this is something to do. I think, I think Dark Fan and Lapis are doing something to do with this maybe i could be wrong but i'm pretty certain i don't know how that is done that looks cool i want to be able to do posters posters in minecraft that looks awesome okay uh let's find something else dinosaurs we have dinosaurs so you can there is jurassic craft uh and this is basically yeah action figures these are action figures which look cool in and of itself Ooh, i like that as well Missing pieces. Yeah, it's round. How that? I like that. I like that a lot. And this is, uh, I think, Pudsey's place. Yeah, so Pudsey is one of the guests. Uh, I like that wood. Teak. Looks very nice. Looks very nice. Um, oh, I don't know what this is over here. Let's quickly go have a little look-see at that. Have a little look-see to see what people are up to. Now, I'm not certain what mods I'm going to be focusing on uh, for this, this series. Ooh, some nice... Is this all chisel stuff? really nice i like it oh and that was wow that was a lag spike um let's just have a little look see up here okay just basic stuff Ooh, the extra utilities to generator oh that's cool okay i don't know how these work yet i'm interested to find out though um and a birch chest i like it i like it this looks cool this looks very nice Looks very nice indeed. Maybe the other material was just marble then uh, that Nemson was using. I imagine so. Okay, onwards to more stuff. So I was walking along and I spotted something very familiar. Very familiar indeed. <laughs> that is awesome. So if you don't know, if you don't know, this is, well, this is Soap's house. Soap the Great. Go check him out. Um, he messaged me saying, there's a little surprise for you next time you log on to the server. And I was like, okay, cool. That sounds awesome. But <laughs> this is um, one of my tutorials. This is from one of my tutorials. Um, I built this um, modern house uh, quite a while ago now. And yeah, he's done it. Oh, that is awesome. I've never actually seen um, it in game. So that is awesome. Oh, that's a cool door. I like that. Oh, God. Yeah, we got in. It's nice. Look at it. Look at it. Oh, look at all the um, all the crafting tables. Let's go up. Let's see what it looks like out here. He's got a lot a lot of tinker stuff going on. He's got quite a few. Uh, oh, 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 oh! He's, I bet he's doing environmental tech. He's got quite a lot of stuff. Quite a lot of things happening now. It is it is getting to be night time. I noticed. Can I come on? Can I get down? There we go. Oh, oh! And there's there's a downstairs as well. Very nice. I like the floor. Yeah, that looks very nice. Uh, can I get out? But I did notice. Now, I don't want to be stuck in the night time, although there's a lot of light around here, so that's not too bad. Where is... Let me just find the portal. There is a portal. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Oh, and the lag. And the lag. I'm sorry for the frames. Um, this is a mining dimension portal. Let's go have a look on the other side. Um, okay, well, I don't know, I don't know what happened there, basically, I got there, and then it seemed to just kick me back, um, 
That wasn't very nice. I don't know why that happened. Let's just, uh, I don't know if I need anything special to go through it. Maybe I do. I don't know. That is new if that is the case. Let's, let's try it again. Okay, I'm in. I am in. I don't know what happened there. Go at least 300 blocks away. Okay, so if you don't know what the mining dimension is, it's like a, basically a safe world in which you can mine and destroy everything. Um, there's no mobs here, I think, I believe, and it's eternal daylight, which is amazing. So basically, um, let's let's actually put a waypoint here so I know, I know where the exit is. And there we go. Exit. T. There we go. Uh, and we'll enable that. There we go. Very nice. So we should have that. There we go. There it is. Uh, I'm going to go 300 blocks away and basically just start mining. Do a little bit of mining because I, I don't have very many supplies. And it's modded. You know, it's modded. You need supplies. Now, usually you kind of put a quarry down in one of these worlds. And you might say it's a little bit cheaty. And it kind of is. But... Sometimes when you do series like this, you know, the whole gathering materials becomes a little bit, you know, it's a little bit old, gets a little bit old, and I, it's just nice to be able to have, like, a mining world sometimes. So I'm totally down with this. I'm, I'm, I'm very, very happy. So I'm going to be doing some of this, so I'll see you shortly. Right, so um, I've been kind of caving for a while, and you might be able to hear... Come on. There you go, as if on cue, uh, some zombies. Uh, so I was wrong that this mining world, it's not, it is not mob proof. Uh, I think I just got confused because I think generally there's no mobs up top because it's eternal daylight. But yeah, mobs can spawn like any other place. Um, was that? Yep, that's basalt. And that's my first redstone. That is excellent. So I've kind of dug down here to Y11 now. Uh, and I'm just kind of trying to get some a bit of redstone, a bit of gold, because I need that kind of stuff for like a sterling generator. So that's what we're kind of going for, just for you know early power, early power gen. Nothing too exciting, uh, but yeah, that's, I just thought I'd fill you in very quickly. So that is what I'm doing now, and I'll hopefully see you back at the igloo. Welcome back, welcome back. Um, I've just got back, just got back from my mining. I didn't find any gold, alas, which is a sh bit of a shame. I was hoping to just make uh, a couple of machines before the end of the episode, but never mind, that is okay. That's okay, there'll be plenty more episodes. Oh, have I, have I climbed up? <laughs> have I climbed up the wrong mountain? I think, I think I might have. I think I might have. I, that, I thought that was, I thought this was my mountain. It, ooh, ooh, but we have found something else. Let's go check that out. Good fortune uh, mixed in with some bad fortune there. Oh, is this Nemson? No, no, that is Catastrophe. That is a good name. That is a very good name. Um, yeah, I don't know what this is. Looks cool. Looks very nice. I like the looks of it. It's uh, again. What are what are these? Oh, okay, chiseled basalt. Okay. Well, that looks cool. Um, maybe I do need to check where my actual places uh let's put that on let's see how how bad am i where uh oh there okay so not too, i'm not too far off it okay that is okay is that bees yeah that's bees okay so not too bad so yeah this is gonna be it's a bit of a smaller a shorter episode to begin with just because i'm a little bit little uh still and uh and yeah we, we i have i haven't Oh, 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 come on. Come on, Hector. There we go. Okay, so it's been a while since I've played modded in uh, 1.10 now, but I'm glad we are in 1.10. That's very nice. I'm, I'm very excited. So, again, I will say, if you want to play the Hyperantic server, and you know what? It's... It's a cool, not the server, if you want to play the Hyperantic mod pack, then go check out in the description the link to the curse launcher download uh, and all of that good stuff it's a good mod pack it's a very interesting mod pack because it's a little bit kitchen sinky you know it's a little bit kitchen sinky but it also has some kind of cool smaller mods that like a lot of packs like ftb don't have and i like that i really prefer that i think 
you know, you played if you've played a few FTB packs, you kind of played them all. Um, and I mean the kin the kitchen sink pack. So what have we got? We've got quite a bit of redstone, which is excellent. We've got a lot of iron and quite a bit of copper. So that is good. Zinc, silver, and oh tin, and yeah, a fair bit of lead. So. What I need, really, is I need to find a way to double these. I need to get into all doubling immediately, because this is modded, and this is what we do. I don't know what this is. Pr prosperity shards, okay. And then what do you do with that? What? Then you get, okay, prudentium essence, and then you get prudentium block, and then you get the prudentium furnace, and... Intermediate furnace, super, okay, but what? I don't know what all of this. Oh wow, that looks cool though. Um, I don't know what a lot of that does. Um, it's all very well, all of this. Um, yeah, I get. Oh, prudentium apple, absorption to speed to. Well, that looks quite cool. Ah, <clears throat> so mystical agriculture. Yeah, so I'm guessing just growing stuff. So that that looks kind of interesting. I don't know whether we'll do that or not, but. Have a look in the mods list, which will also be in the description, and let me know what kind of piques your interest. I have a few things in mind. A few things, one or two. Um, I don't know what that is either. Oh, oh, that's because I died. Yes, I died immediately upon logging into the server, um, which was which was nice, but never mind. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm glad I'm back. I'm, I'm glad I'm almost not ill. Um, I'll, I'll get there. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, a like or comment is always very much appreciated. And of course, make sure to subscribe to stay up to date with my channel and check out all the other Hyperantix members. I'll be back soon on this server with a lot more kind of stuff happening. So thank you so much. I've been Hector. This has been Hyperantix and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.